beautiful people. Welcome to a new video. I have a repair video for you this time. I have a Punch 60X2 right here in my hand and it looks very good for the outside. Cosmetical condition is good, but inside the amplifier I found a burn mark and uh, the power supply of the amplifier has been burned up and uh, I found it out because I connected it to my power supply and I connected the ground wire and then the B plus wire and the amplifier started to pull a lot of current. This should not be the case. The amplifier should pull nothing out of my power supply until I connect the remote and then the amplifier is starting to pull some current out of the power supply. So I started to troubleshoot and I found some defective components and I just want to share this information with you if you are interested in amplifier repair. You can see uh, the big diode, you can't even see that it is a diode. Everything is black and burned. You can see after removing the bar that the power supplied transistor is completely burned up. And I cleaned up the mainboard a little bit. And here I removed the parts and the diodes. A closer view to the components I removed. When I fix the power supply transistors, I change all of them. And the gate resistors, here you can see um, the power supply transistor, which is completely damaged, one diode completely broken, both were defective, and the small parts on the right side are the gate resistors. Um, they were, regarding the schematics, around 67 ohms, and I replaced them with 47 ohms because I didn't use the original spare parts. I use the IRF3205 and here you can see the IRF3205 and installed with a new gate register. Both power supply transistors are back in the board and the diodes also and the gate resistors. And uh, I had only one in SMD case left. So I used for the other one, I used a regular resistor, but it fit well. Here you can see I used a regular resistor and new diodes. I was um, a little bit confused because the power supply of the amplifier was damaged and nothing more was damaged. No driver transistors, no output uh, field effect transistors, nothing was damaged. Usually if the power supply is damaged, some outputs or drivers were also dead. And now it's time to make the sound check. The amplifier's ground is connected and the B plus is connected and the amplifier is not pulling any current. So I am now going to connect the remote and now I'm testing for sound output but I will not test high volume because the amplifier is still out of the heatsink and if you touch these, these they are not hot at all, they are working properly but I will test with low volume and check if the amplifier is playing music again after the repair. This channel is working. I go to the next channel. Also working. Now bridged. Yeah, everything is okay. Amplifiers back to life for a round. I would guess five, six, seven dollars. Time to disconnect all leads and bring the amplification mainboard back to the heatsink. I think um, the reason why this amp load uh, was um, foolish behavior during the installation by not um, disconnecting the battery voltage. Hey, what about my new background? It's from 1996, has never been used, it's brand new. And if you like what you've seen, why not leaving a thumb up or write something down below in the comment section and better subscribe to my channel to get informed for another video I'm posting in the near future. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.